Ophelia. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am going wool shopping. So I uh, would like to take you along to my uh, local wool shop. We're going to have a good look around um, and she's got a really good selection so I just want to show you that. And yes, as you know, I live in Exmouth in Devon and I am now at the Exmouth Market. So let me just show you. So this is Exmouth Market and it's like an indoor um, shopping um, area and there's lots of different shops in um, this area. But um, yeah, it's got the wool box here um, and let's just go in. Sorry for filming the floor. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's lots of different shops here. Um, this is where I buy my chutneys. Um, there's sweets there. And here we have all kinds of um, linens and like cushion covers and curtains and things like that. And yeah, the lady is not here, but I know she's hiding because she doesn't want to be on the video. <laughs> um, and look around the corner. This is where we get to the wool part of the shop so she's got lots and lots of lovely shelves all stacked with different types of wool she's got some examples on the top here and over here she's got all the um, you know the ne the needles the knitting needles the round ones crochet hooks look she's got even you know really thin ones to like 15 millimeter ones below here I can see she's got some pom-pom maker look that's nice and she's also got some stitch markers there yeah some darning needles Knitters Marcus pins. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> what is this? A row counter. Oh, maybe that's for knitting. Yeah, you put it on your knitting needle, I think. Hmm. And yeah, so she's got quite a few um, different brands of wool. Um, of yarn. I mean, she's got like James C. Brett, she's got uh, King Cole and she's got Starcraft. So um, this is the cotton she has. This is something that she's recently started um, adding to her range. She's got the really thin one. Actually, this is the one I used for my uh, fishnet top for my daughter. So yeah, that was the one for that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, these are the implements, the equipment, and then here we start with... Oh, I haven't seen that before. That looks really sweet. Oh, look, it's like a thread. It's like a knitted thread. Moonbeam by Starcraft. Hmm. I'll have to have a look into that. This is like, you know, the fluffy one. And she's always got a good selection of um, colours. She's also got a lot of uh, patterns available as well. And then outside here, there's always sort of like a little bit of um, special offers type thing. Um, there's the Starcraft Batik here. That's a nice one. 100% wool, this one is. King Cole Superwash Wool. Oh, I didn't know they did that. Hmm. But yeah, as you know, I'm not really, um, I can't really use wool because it does prickle me. <laughs> and then we have Cuddles DK. That's a thicker, like a snowflake one. Super Life Chunky. Again, this one has wool in it because it says life. But yeah, look how thick it is. That's lovely, isn't it? But again, I can't use that one. Um, and then, oh, look at this. Can you see the glistening? That's lovely, isn't it? So yeah, I mean, it's, um, oh, this is a oh, three ply. So this is a really, really thin one. I can imagine that's nice to work with. 
Snuggly, Sirdar. And then look at these big ones. That's like a jumper in a ball, isn't it? So here we go to the King Cole. King Cole cotton top. Hang on a minute, I've never seen this before. What does that mean? Acrylic and cotton. So there's 78% acrylic and 22% cotton. Oh, that sounds like a, a nice, like a warmer jumper. You know, the ones I've, I'm, I've been making with 50-50, this sounds a bit warmer. Oh, look at this one, crinkly, Calypso. Hmm, lovely colours, this one. Here we are, this is also King Cole, I think. Yeah, big value, double knitting. I like these ones because they're, um, they have lovely colours of the little spots in there. So I really like those. Oh, this is nice. Do you know, I haven't been here for a while um, really looking at things. I always come in, I know what I want. Um, and I just get that and that's, that's okay, of course. But yeah, looking around <laughs> does make you realise there's always things in there. Look at that. That's a lovely little jumper, isn't it? So yeah, so this is here. This is where she keeps her Starcraft. So generally, like I say, I come in and I'm here and I know which colours I want and I know which colour she has. Um, she's got, I think she's not got every colour, but she's got most of the colours. So that's always handy to know. And she's got them arranged really nicely as well. So yeah. Um, so that's our Starcraft. Then we go to... Here we see, let's have a look at that. This is Starcraft Bellissima. That's a nice one. It's really nicely, well, you know, sort of wound almost. These are the drifter ones. I love the colour combinations here. Look at that. Generally, I end up putting them all nicely as well. <laughs> this is nice, grey and blue. A little bit of purple in this one. Yeah. Oh, I love these ones. What are these? Serda number one. Beautifully soft, double knitting yarn. Acrylic and nylon. Hmm. That's a good, that's a different combination, isn't it? So I suppose that would work for a sweatshirt as well because it's quite light. Lovely colours. I love these colours. And then here the bluer ones are lovely as well. So she's also got the little dolly ones. Uh, dolly mix DK here. Then we go to baby yarns around this corner here. Um, she's got lots of those. Look at that. Look at these lovely... Oh, look at that. The glistening in there. That's lovely, isn't it? And he oh, I love purple and greens. Hmm. This is a nice one. I always wonder how they will work up. You just need to have the right pattern for it, I suppose. And that's why it's good that she's got little examples sometimes because um, then you can see it worked up. Like for example here, you can see how it's worked up. So yeah. So she goes from this is a normal style craft, then sort of a little bit specialised. And then this whole wall here is like baby ones. So that looks really nice. And then here we've got big, is that the one? No, Flutter by Chunky. That's an interesting one, isn't it? It's sort of that velvety. That looks, and it's so soft. Okay, and then on this side, we have the cotton, so we've got um, <coughs> Sodar Snuggly, 100% cotton. That looks, oh, that is soft. That's really soft. That's a nice cotton. And it doesn't, ha it's not mercerized, so it doesn't have that really heavy sheen on it, but it's sort of very lightly, that's lovely. Do you know, like I said, I hadn't looked around here for a long time. 
but it's certainly worth doing this. Oh, what's this one? S James C. Brett, it's 100% pure DK cotton. Again, this looks really soft and nice to work with. Oh, and these, oh, look at these colors. And then, of course, here, yeah, this is the one I really like, cotton soft. But she's got it in ombre kind of effect. Cotton soft crush. Oh, do you know, if only there were more hours in the day. <laughs> um, here we have also um, cotton. This is a thinner one, four ply, but this is mercerized. Can you see it's glistening? It's got a sheen on it. So again, I mean, lovely colors. Oh dear, lovely colors. But yeah, so it's a different quality, but you know obviously it's what you want it's what the, it's you know depends on the pro uh, the project you're doing isn't it and this one here is the normal starcraft classic so those are not lovely colors as well so here we have all the tinsel yarn i stay well away from all this <laughs> that's not my thing but yeah i can imagine oh but look <laughs> isn't he cute he's lovely so yeah Lovely, nice tinsel yarn, chunky eyelash, whatever it is. And then here we go towards, um, oh, this is with merino. That's lovely, isn't it? Lovely colours here as well. Life decay vintage look. Oh, that's a lovely one as well. Imagine a jumper out of that. Hmm. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, so here we have some glitz again. This is a nice one for a virus shawl as well. Gives it a little bit of um, glistening effect. So that's the same double knit merino again. Yeah. Ah, oh, Misty DK. What is that? Acrylic and viscose. Mm, that's a lovely one as well, isn't it? Yeah, so now, so this is sort of the DK department. Okay, this is the DK department. Now here, we go to the four ply. So this is thinner yarn. So I would say this is sock yarn. Um, so this is a little bit thinner than all the others. So let look for feet. This doesn't... Mm, wool and polyamide. So yeah, so this is um, mainly wool. So it's for, to me, when I touch it, it doesn't, um, it's not very soft on my fingers, but that's probably because I'm not, you know, I don't take well to wool. Mm, full ply suitable for socks. Yeah. So again here, this will be so, uh, country style wool blend, four ply, nylon, wool and acrylic. That's a nice one as well, but again, yeah. It's got one in it, so. so that's the four ply, and then here, this is where the chunky starts. So this is the Aran, and here on this side it's chunky. Um, so let's have a look at the um, this one here. So she's got all kinds of lovely things here. Oh, these look nice. Look at those colours. Oh, do you know? I wish I could. Yeah, like I said, I wish I could crochet day and night and make all kinds of things with these because they look lovely. Soda Aura. <laughs> and here again we go to some of that eyelash yarn. What's it oh my goodness! How soft is this? Oh, this is really soft. What is it? It must be acrylic, surely, or... Yeah, polyester. So yeah, that's what I meant. It must be... Um, you know, no wool in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. Oh, that's very luxurious. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> Opium palette. 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 Uh, what is this? Cotton, acrylic, and polyamide. So this. But what I find with this is sometimes it's thick and sometimes it's thin. So again. You sort of have to have something that allows for that in the pattern. So, oh, look at this color, that's gorgeous. 
this is nice as well. Yeah, so here we go to Chunky Yarns. So Drifter Chunky. And look at this. Cotton wool acrylic. So yeah, that's again with woolen and it's very fluffy. So here we go with the Starcraft Life DK. Uh, chunky, Life Chunky. Um, I've been using this to make chunky scarf, so that's really good um, as well. Uh, what is this? James Bread, yeah, Mojo Magic Chunky Acrylic. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting to see, you know, and also what I find interesting is you can touch it, you can see it. Yes, I mean, to be honest, shopping online is fine if you know what you're getting and you can wait for it, but there is something about going to your local wool shop and getting it there and seeing it and being able to touch it. The Italian collection Florence Chunky King Cole. This looks lovely. Look at that. What is it? Alpaca, wool, polyamide and polyacrylic fiber. Hmm. Interesting. So there we go. Here we have a imagination chunky, 100% acrylic. Then we have chunky tweed. Hmm. This is a nice one as well. Oh, look with black and then all the colors in there. Hmm. So yeah, so that's um, chunky again. This is just polyester, so it's just acrylic, so no wool in it. And then here we have those big balls again. So yeah, if you're making a big, um, you know, a sweatshirt, it's always handy to have that. But again, yeah, it's got wool, acrylic and viscose, so wool. But never mind. And this is a uh, special, is Aran, this is Aran. So that sort of Aran is between DK and Chunky. So yeah, and she's got that really chunky stuff over here. <laughs> Look how thick these are. Oh my goodness. And here. Yeah. Um, you can make a... <laughs> you can... I've made a poncho in this actually. My daughter nicked it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it works up really quickly and it's really nice to use. Um, so yeah. And then over there we have Tundra Super Chunky. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Tundra Super Chunky. And that is, oh, alpaca. So acrylic and alpaca. Very soft. Do you know, I think maybe I might not be allergic to that. It feels much softer than when I touch wool. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Be worth trying it out one day. Yeah, so... She's also got loads and loads of patterns here. Um, and yeah, it's sort of the traditional wool shop where ladies come and yeah, they see the wool that they like, but they then also go home generally with a pattern of something that they want to make. Um, and it's just really nice that this is still here in Exmouth, um, you know, and I can walk to this um, and I can uh, come and have a little chat with her, uh, with Sue. She's always very friendly. She did not want to be caught on camera. <laughs> so we're going to respect that. But yeah, I've had a really good look around. And to be honest, yeah, I hadn't done that in a while. And uh, there were some things that I hadn't seen before, like this one. I really like this one. So yeah, it's always interesting to have a little look around, befriend your wool lady. Uh, <laughs> and also, um, Sue always says, um, you know, when I, whatever colour you want, I will order it for you. Um, so it's always good to, you know, to come round often or, you know, regularly. And, um, you know, if you're working on something, for her to order it or whatever, if you uh, need it. So yeah, it's, um, I, I love being here. <laughs> Sometimes I walk in and I, um, I say to her, I said, I'm not buying, I'm just looking. And she says, fine. 
and you know that's the kind of thing you you know you need to have isn't it you know you want to have that sort of yarn input <laughs> sometimes um and yeah it's just nice to to be able to do that so i like this one as well i might need to think of something to make but this is it i come in here i see what she has and then generally i go back home and i'm thinking of what i can make and what can i make. and then i think oh hang on a minute i can use that one or i can use that one from the shop i've seen this one maybe i can use that for it so in a way it's good to have a look around you go back home you think of something that you want to make and then you know that you can get the wool because you've seen it in the shop and you can go back and get it and that's always a good thing to do so so I have been looking at these for a long time she had them on her counter to start with and I was looking at them and they are just so nice um, so I'm going to get two of these to give away as presents to just someone okay and I am going to get these three here to make something for myself. I have no idea what yet. Um, they are meant for amigurumi um, and they have the loveliest images on their front. Can you see? Look. Lovely amigurumi. So I wonder, could you get these patterns somewhere? I have no idea. I'll have to ask her, but yeah, these are the ones. Oh, what shall I do? I don't know. What shall I do? This grey maybe grey shall I get a grey one what am I gonna make with it <laughs> oh I know I know I know I know I know okay I'm getting the grey yeah um, shall I get the blue as well oh yeah go on <laughs> the light blue as well they're lovely aren't they so these ones oh white oh I can always come back <laughs> Right, okay, so I will get for myself the grey. Yeah. I'll come back for the rest later. <laughs> right, let's pay. Oh, I just noticed it says free pattern with purchase. Okay, we'll see what happens when I buy them. <laughs> right, here we are, ready to be bought. Okay, so I paid for my uh, little cotton balls here and um, these are the patterns. So she got out a, a huge uh, sort of bag here, uh, all with patterns. It's just the description. There's no pictures with it. Um, but yeah, so she said, choose which ones you want. <laughs> Goodness me, what am I going to do? Um, so yes, um, so it's got just the title, Yellow Bear, Sporty Boy, Snowman and then Dark Bear bunny you know so yeah shall we choose one or what shall we do <laughs> so anyway yeah so those are the patterns and uh, she also said um, online uh, to go and have a look and see if um, you know you, I could find the it doesn't really say anything on there but yeah we'll see what does it say ah so it's 51% acrylic and 49% cotton Oh, that's interesting. So it's a lighter cotton than, you know, than what, uh, than just a full 100% cotton. So, right. Okay. So these are the patterns and that's my purchase today. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my wool shop. Um, and yeah, I know you're probably not from here. Obviously, I've got people all over the world looking at my uh, videos. But yeah, this is a... Um, you know buy local go and have a look at your local wool shop have a good browse and buy something there because it help not only it helps local people um, but you know it's something to yeah keep it up because these big online uh, shops they're taking over you know so let's try and you know still um, divide our custom and use the local um, wool shops so that they might stay in business as well. So thank you Sue for letting me film. Uh, I hope I haven't scared any customers away while I was doing it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <music>